In this video, I will explain how to use the Shade Auto Smooth feature in Blender. Now, if you're a Blender beginner and you'd like a complete tutorial series to learn all the basic fundamentals of Blender, then definitely check out my Blender for Complete Beginners tutorial series here on my YouTube channel. And throughout the tutorial series, I teach you all the basic fundamentals of Blender while creating this snowman character. So Blender has three smoothing options, and if you right click to bring up the object context menu, you can find them here. So there is the shade smooth, there is the shade flat, and then there is the shade auto smooth. And you can also get to these options by going object, and then you can go down here and choose shade smooth, shade auto smooth, and shade flat. So the shade smooth is really great for objects which don't have very sharp edges. So you can see I have this nice round icosphere here and you can see the faces because it is shaded flat. However, if I right click and then choose shade smooth, you can see it smooths out those edges and the shading is now smooth. However, let's say I have another object like this one here. So this is also a sphere object, but it has some more details. So it has a ring here and then also a cylinder extruded up here. Well, if I shaded this smooth, you can see there are some problems. So it looks pretty nice right here where it is round and there isn't very sharp angles. But then right here, there is a very sharp angle. This is almost a 90 degree angle. And also right here, this is a really sharp angle. And you can see there's some weird shading issues. It's kind of hard to tell where the edge is and there's some really weird dark areas. The same problem would happen for a cube so if I were to shade the cube smooth there's some really weird issues it's kind of hard to tell where the edges of that cube and there's some really weird dark areas and the shading just doesn't look quite right now the shade flat is really good for objects like a cube which have really sharp edges so this cube has 90 degree angles and so if I shade it flat you can clearly see the shape of the mesh but the shade flat may not be best for smooth objects because if I shade this flat now you can see each one of the faces and that may not be the look that you're trying to get. So what if you have an object like this where you want some of the mesh to be smooth and then other parts of the mesh to be flat? Well that is where the shade auto smooth comes in. So if you right click and then use the shade auto smooth you can see that it's going to smooth out the edges which don't have a very big angle but then the other edges which have a large angle it's going to shade that flat. So you can see a around this cylinder here that is shaded smooth and also around this sphere here that is shaded smooth but then these edges here for the rings and also the edges of the sphere that is shaded flat. So the shade auto smooth feature is really good for objects like this, which have some spots that you want to shade smooth. Like for example, on this cube here, there is a bevel on the edge, but then you might also have other areas where you want to shade flat, like the other side of the cube. Now you might be wondering how Blender is deciding what parts of the mesh to shade smooth and what parts of the mesh to shade flat. Well, if you again right click and then choose the shade auto smooth, you can see right next to me, there is this auto smooth. So you can check mark that if you want to use the auto smooth. And then there is this angle here and so you can drag the angle and this is going to tell blender how big of an angle it's going to use the shade auto smooth and if this setting goes away you can again just right click and then choose the shade auto smooth or what you can do is you can select the object and you can click right over here to the object data properties and then you can open up this normals and next to the normals there's going to be the same settings so if i turn the auto smooth angle way down you can see that everything is going to be shaded flat because it's only going to shade it smooth if the angle is smaller than zero but of course smaller than zero is basically nothing even this face to this face has a very small angle and so it's shading it flat. However, if I turn this auto smooth up just a little bit, just to like a 14, you can see that already it's smoothing out the side of the sphere. And then let's say I wanted to shade smooth this angle here, I would have to turn it up more and more until the angle is larger than that angle there. So you can see I have to turn it up to about 80 in order for it to shade that angle smooth. Now if I use the shade auto smooth on a cube here, you can see that as I'm turning it up, it's still not shading flat. And that is because I'd have to turn the auto smooth up to an angle larger than 90, because this cube here has faces which are all at a 90 degree angle. So this auto smooth, you can see it won't be shaded smooth until I turn it past 90. Here's another example on a monkey head. So if I just turn the shade auto smooth up to a very small amount, you can see that the first faces which are going to be shaded smooth are the monkey head's eyes because these faces here don't have much of an angle change. However, like right over here on the eyebrows, you can see I have to turn the shade auto smooth up to a much larger number before it will be shaded smooth because the angle is much bigger. 
So the shade auto smooth is really good for objects like this, where you have some part of the mesh that you want to shade smooth, but then other parts of the mesh that you want to shade flat. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you're a beginner to Blender and you'd like to learn all the basic fundamentals of Blender, then definitely check out my Blender for Complete Beginners tutorial series, where I teach you all the basic fundamentals of Blender. And throughout the tutorial series, we also create this snowman artwork. And you can also check out my Blender Quick Tips tutorial playlist to learn more tips in Blender. The links are all in the description. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.